Hello everyone, when managing an inventory or sales database, you want to ensure accurate and consistent data entry to save your time and reduce errors. Then creating a custom autofill list in Excel is the best option for you. If you work with addresses or locations, you can create autofill lists for cities, states or countries, making it faster to enter this information. Even in project management or task tracking, you can create autofill lists for project names, task types or status options. So this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a custom autofill list in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the store list and their manager name in column B and C. Our target is to create a custom autofill list for fulfilling these two columns. For this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So, without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to use advanced option to create a custom autofill list in Excel. At first, we have two worksheets, autofill list and apply list. We want to create a custom autofill list to fill up the column B of the apply list worksheet similar to the column B of the autofill list worksheet. At first, go for the autofill list worksheet, select the B5 to B9 cells and go for the file tab. Choose options to open Excel options. Here, go for the advanced option and in the general section, you will find the edit custom list option. Go for the edit custom list to open the custom list dialog box. Here, we have already chosen B5 to B9 cells here in the worksheet. Now, let's import it to create list entries. Here, in the list entry preview, you can see the list. Click on OK to create the list here. After that, let's move on to the apply list worksheet. Go for the B5 cell and write down the first data of the list. The first data was store 509 Michigan. Now let's use the fill handle tool and see you have created the custom autofill list to fulfill the store list here. In our second method, we'll be applying VBA code to create a custom autofill list to fulfill the manager list in the column C. To do that, we need the help of the developer tab. So we need to enable the developer tab here at first. So we'll be going for the file tab options to open Excel options. Go for customize ribbon and in the customize the ribbon main tabs, we'll be going for the developer tab. Tick on developer tab and click OK to enable the developer tab. Now let's go for the developer tab and in the code go for visual basic to open visual basic editor or press alt plus f11 to open visual basic editor. Since we want this VBA macro to be applicable only for this worksheet so we'll double click on the sheet for VBA to open up the code editor window. Now let's write down the code here. The code starts with sub custom autofill here. This line denotes the start of a subroutine. Subroutines are the block of the code that can be executed with the Excel worksheet. In this case, the subroutine is named as custom autofill. Now for the next line, we'll be going for the application dot add custom list portion. Here application refers to Excel application itself. But add custom list is a method of application object that is used to add a custom autofill list to Excel. And after that, we'll be going for the list array. So we'll write down list array which is the argument that provided to the method. It specifies the list of items that you want to add in your custom autofill list. Here, in this case, we want to add five names here in the array. So we'll be going for the equal sign and now we'll enter our array and in the array, we'll be writing our input names, which is John Carter as the first value. Now we'll be going for the second name, which is William Smith. 
and as the code is a lengthy one so we need to use a line breaker so write down the space and shift underscore press the enter button to go for the next line now enter the other names also here in the new line so we have inserted all the names here and the end sub marks the end of the subroutine now let's summarize the whole code in summary this vba code defines a subroutine named custom autofill list within this subroutine it uses add custom list method to add a custom autofill list to excel for the list array argument of the custom autofill list we used the arrays to store five names of the managers the custom autofill list includes five names mentioned in the arrow argument when you run this code the provided names will be available for the autofill list in excel which can be useful for consistent and quick data entry in those cells now let's go for the run and click on the run option now let's move on to the worksheet and see whether it's working or not at first will be going for the C5 cell and insert the first value here. So we'll be writing John Carter here. After that, use the enter button and use the fill handle tool to see whether the autofill list is working or not. Now let's use the fill handle tool and see you have fulfilled the manager list by using custom autofill list in Excel. That's VBA code to create a custom autofill list for you. Now we want to show you something special here. We want to show you how to use the fill handle tool for normal sequence, odd sequence, event sequence and specific sequence. Let's go for the normal sequence first. Here we'll write down the normal sequence by using one, two entry. We have entered the first two entry of the normal sequence. Now to create an autofill list, we'll select both the entries and use the fill handle tool to create autofill list for the normal sequence column now let's go for the odd sequence which it starts with one and the next value will be three we've entered two initial values for odd sequence select the two initial values use the fill handle tool to create the odd sequence now let's move on to the even sequence which is starts with two and the second value is four after entering two initial values for the event sequence will again use the fill handle tool to create a sequence for even sequence now let's move on for the specific sequence suppose in the specific sequence we want to get the first value as one but in the second value will be found by adding five with the first value so we'll write down one plus five that means six as our second value the third value will be six plus five that means eleven now we have entered the specific sequence here we want to do the same for the rest of the cells also so we'll select the initial entries and now use the fill handle tool to get the specific sequence for every cell of the column e so that's fill handle tool for you so that's it for today. You can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving Exceldemy community forum where you can post your Excel and VBA challenges and get solutions from our experts and fellow users. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.